Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about the x lookup and dget function, as we have the basic data for the function. And we need to apply both x lookup and dget formula. We identify the both formulas and its use. In this function, we only need to select employee ID and gives remaining details automatically. And similar details, we will get by dget formula as well. We need to select employee ID and get the details. And we will also discuss how to create drop down function. But before this function, please provide your support by subscribing our channel. Let's start our example of x lookup and dget function. As we have the basic data required for function. And we need to apply formula in both cells. First, we need to select the desired cell. Now type formula equals to x lookup. In the lookup value, select lookup value cell. Now make the cell constant by pressing F4. Then we need to select lookup array. Select whole employee ID column. Again, make it constant by pressing F4. For return array, select the required data column. We need name and name is in the second column. Now close the bracket and enter the cell. Now we need to type employee ID. But we will use data validation function to make it more simple. Now go on data tab and select data validation option. Now click on list option. Now select whole employee ID column. Now select employee ID from option. Our both functions work. Now we need to drag formula to apply on other cells. We need to change format of this cell. Format Painter is a short trick to apply it. Now test our whole X lookup function. You can also check details from reference. It gives the same result as we lookup and others will. Now move to our second function that is dget function. First we select the cell and apply here formula dget. Now we need to select whole data for the database. The database should select from heading. Now we need to make the reference constant by F4. Now for the field option, we need to select name heading. In selecting field, we need to make sure that both are same. Field spelling and our heading spelling should be same. Now for the criteria, select employee ID heading and below cell. And make the reference constant by pressing F4. Now close the bracket and press enter. Now again use the data validation function for ID. Select data tab and click on data validation. Click on the list option. Now select whole employee ID column. Now test our function and drag formula to the right. Again, we need to make formatting of salary. Now test our both formulas by selecting employee ID. Both functions will provide similar result. Our x lookup and dget formula provides similar result, but each formula has its own requirements. You can also see the changes in the formula. 
Any change will impact on both formulas. You can use any formula as per your own requirements. But each function has its own way of completing activity. Now you can see the changes reflecting in both formulas. It is changing the department, salary, and age. If you face any issue while doing this, please write in the comment section.